In 500 feet, turn right onto Stadium Drive. Hey everybody, welcome back to another full self-driving beta video. My name is John, and welcome to my channel if you're new. Tesla posted a video this week of full self-driving beta in action without the driver touching the steering wheel at all. I absolutely loved the camera setup, so I'm kind of replicating that here in this video. A couple things to note. I do have an LED light shining to show the pedals down below. These are aftermarket modifications. They're little covers that go over the brake pedal and the accelerator on my long range rear wheel drive Model 3, which I bought in 2019. One thing I find absolutely fascinating is that this car has gotten better and better over time. When I first picked it up, it couldn't do any of this. So you see it flawlessly getting out of a drive through and getting out onto this main road here without any issues. Made me a little bit anxious getting over here in time, but at the last second it decides to get over. We do need to get all the way over to the left to get onto the highway here. What's really cool is the car does everything all by itself. So this part I'm gonna fast forward times 10 the speed because we had to wait here at this light for a little while. The car proceeds forward. If it wasn't performing so well, I probably wouldn't be showing this. However, these days I do have a lot of really great drives. I think it depends on the area that you're driving in. This is a relatively simple environment. However, every time it's different, as you know, with traffic around you. Look at this. It has to get all the way over. It recognizes even before the lanes show up. It recognizes it needs to be in this lane. And previously, I don't think it would have done that. I was really impressed with that. And it waited there kind of halfway in the lane, halfway out of the lane. Coming up here, we're waiting to turn left onto the highway. I get my drink out. <laughs> I spoiled myself on this day. I hardly ever get Starbucks, but I had to get a Java chip Frappuccino, one of my favorites. And by the way, Starbucks is not sponsoring this video. <laughs> So here, this is actual speed going through the green arrow light and merging onto the highway. Now take note as it gets onto the highway here. This is what a lot of the testers have also observed. I was one of the first ones to start posting about this or reporting on this. Merges with this uh, version 11 stack of beta are a little bit awkward. What happens is what's called a zipper merge. So you'll see the runway runs out. The people behind me, they start getting over already, but I wait until this white line basically forces me over. If there had been another car there, it would have been a little bit uh, risky. Uh, thankfully, I didn't run into that at this time, but I love this camera setup. The only disadvantage is for me as the driver, my head is a little bit further back, so it's kind of harder to look behind me to make sure it's safe. So that definitely had me on edge, I will be honest with you. Here, speeding up five times. This is a pretty straightforward uh, trip, but it's really cool because it gets off of one major highway, which is uh, Highway 131 going south, onto Interstate 94, going east. I thought it was done really well. Never have had any issues with a lot of the exits and on-ramps except for the merging, but the exits are always done really well for the most part. So here I speed it up, but look at this. It creeps when this car is here. It creeps just a little bit. You'll see here in a second. See, they went forward. My car right now recognizes the gap. Starts going forward a little bit. And then wait here for a second. There it moves like almost instantly when the other car moved. I love that. It's very natural. I do have this sped up a little bit just for the sake of time. 
Uh, and you'll see here it goes across the highway before it gets in the left turn lane. Really smart there. That is an easy mistake to make is to get over too early. A lot of people make that mistake. And then here you can see just the cars piling up here. In college, I had a little bit of an accident here. Someone stopped in the left lane. There's just two lanes here coming toward us. And on the left lane, someone had stopped and said, hey, go ahead. They waved me on. And it creates a blind spot because then you can't see the cars in the right lane. So someone came up in the right lane and hit me. Uh, unfortunately, it ended up totaling their car. <laughs> But mine ended up being okay. Just had to get it repaired. So uh, here coming down this street, we run into a pedestrian on the side and the car recognizes them and moves over really smoothly for them. Did a really nice job. But I love this view and I'm gonna probably stick with doing this. The challenge is the, uh, the, the um, exposure is often difficult because it tries, the GoPro camera tries to capture the interior of the car as well as the outside of the car and you end up getting some interesting variation with the with the contrast and the exposure especially with the sky so it's a little bit tricky here's that runner on the right side so it went around them very very slowly i mean very smoothly and very subtly i should say and then coming up here but the point here with this video is that i did not touch the wheel even once it did an incredible job. Now I'm using my knee to touch the wheel because you do need to uh, provide some feedback on the steering wheel uh, in order for full self-driving to operate. But it is really, really smooth and I have a lot of nice, really nice drives. Uh, of course it's not perfect, but it is in, in a state that I think the majority of the population can't really comprehend or understand and and I my the point of my videos is to help spread that information there's a lot of people that are posting the problems with the self-driving software because like I said it's not perfect but for what it can do today it is awfully impressive and I, I think we really need to give a round of applause to Tesla for all the hard work they've put into this it really is impressive if you made it all the way to the end of the video here thank you so much for watching have a great day.